What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and Tyler, and this girl's soccer highlight is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. A game rescheduled for unplayable field conditions and inclement weather. Not going to be a problem today as Polly hosts Milliken. <laughs> no, not at all, JJ. The Rams coming off an impressive draw against Wilson. The Jackrabbits happy to have goalkeeper Imani McDonald back in on her toes after club responsibilities kept her out of the Jackrabbit lineup. Club not as physical as Long Beach soccer. Either way, no trespassing on McDonald's farm. Oh my, that's where the football team practices and McDonald has been watching. Everybody would get up and be okay, but McDonald needed to be ready for these set pieces. 17 total fouls in the first half, and she was. She's always ready. She gets up for the get down and punches that one clear. Jackrabbits using long throws as their most dangerous set pieces trying to get ball into the danger zone. Uh, you know who was doing that? Who? Lana. Lana! <laughs> Lana Hudson putting the ball in the danger zone. But it's nil-nil at the half. Only six shots on goal combined for these two teams. Mostly set piece action. Best performance of the day was from the Jackrabbit defense that limited Alex Karlowitz to some ambitious chances. But Carlo sets up the best chance of the day. 67th minute, Jacqueline Ingram, good touch, good go, better save. McDonald right where she needs to be, and the sheer pointlessness of a 0-0 draw. JJ, come on. They uh, they went out there and competed. They play hard, but in the end, no goals. Oh, obviously they do, and actually this sets up an incredible game next Tuesday. Polly's going to host Wilson. A winner there will take the top spot in the Moore League after the first round of play. Right behind them, those always pesky Rams. For all of that local girls soccer coverage, you stay right here. You're home for everything Long Beach sports.